Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, the life of Granddaddy and everything that he's done for us. And we just ask that as we go over to celebrate his life, that uh, you would keep us safe. We ask that you'd keep air in the tires, that you would keep bad drivers away, uh, that you'd just give us a, a nice, easy, safe trip uh, to get down there with our family. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday morning. We are getting ready to head out to church. I'm wearing my new stitch fix dress. You can't see it right here, but that's okay. Uh, it's time to go get ready. I don't know who will be at church this morning. We know several people that won't be at church, so it'll just be interesting to see who's there. But we always enjoy it in worship no matter who's there, so it'll be a good Sunday. What did Jesus heal people from? Death, sin, and sickness. Good job. Elijah, do you know why Jesus died on the cross and came back to life? So he can save our sin. So he can save us from our sin. Good job, guys. It is so dry. And again today, it's back up to super hot temperatures and smoky. You can see the haze in the air. It's going to be a smoky day. But nothing grows except these weeds. What little rain we get, these weeds take off. So I'm going to have to come up here and mow the church weeds and round up here in the rocks. <laughs> it just blows me away how these useless plants. If, you, if I could figure out a purpose for these fire weeds, you could grow those out here make a killing that'd be your farming so it's the last day of the pool being open so we came to swim we came with a couple families from church it was nice we uh got to visit and just have fun while the kids swam and so they've all headed home they live out of town but we decided to let the boys swim a little bit kj's getting the update on his granddad and Elijah said he's done, but he's done. So, so there's a smoky haze, and I don't know which fires this is coming from. Hey, Flash. Meow. But between that and whatever kind of cloud or storm thing is coming in, we've got this orange haze. It's really kind of weird. See the haze of the sun and the smoke? Well, it's Monday morning. We are packing to head to North Carolina. My granddad passed last night and uh, looking at plane tickets and how much of a problem that is, we've decided we're gonna drive cross country. So that might be a neat thing to show you guys. So we're getting ready to, to head out. I think we got everything packed. I'm sure we forgot something, but. It'll be what it'll be. It'll be what it'll be. No, no, no. I was hey, okay, turn that off. Let me pray. Ready? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, the life of Granddaddy and everything that he's done for us. And we just ask that as we go over to celebrate his life, that uh, you would keep us safe. We ask that you'd keep air in the tires, that you would keep bad drivers away, uh, that you'd just give us a, a nice, easy, safe trip uh, to get down there with our family. 
And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you what troopers my children are. So we do ministry as a family. We always have. It's just kind of our philosophy. Last night when we went to bed, the plan was to get up this morning and do school. Um, when they got up this morning, the plans changed. They didn't really ask a lot of questions. We just said, hey, we're packing. Here's the deal. We're going to North Carolina. And they just jumped right in, did what they had to do. And now we're in the car on the way to North Carolina. I'm pretty proud of them. Um, that's kind of how we live our life in general. When somebody needs something, we just change our plans and do what we have to do to minister to people and to be there. And um, This is a little different situation, of course, but I'm still pretty proud of them. You can chase a dream It seems so out of reach And you know it might not ever come your way North Dakota. in the morning four in the morning here it's not like busy but there's a lot in chicago we're not even in like downtown downtown so towards chicago you want to be in those right, right two, two lanes, lanes. So gonna move over one no we are in indiana oh. we're headed to gary gary indiana no, gary, gary indiana. indiana oh we passed gary yeah. gary indiana Indianapolis, that's where we're going. Yep. So, um, it took forever to get through Chicago or like everything that's around Chicago. That's right, Chicago and Gary kind of blended together. It's like one never ended. You were just in the city the whole time. But, we did it. Well, KJ did it. He's done all the driving so far. We are in Charleston. West Virginia. <laughs> the bridge is cool, so I wanted to catch it. Bridge. Oh, it's a drawbridge. It's, it's not a drawbridge. It's just a suspension. Over a river. Suspension bridge. Stay in the second lane from right. Stay in the second lane. I don't think you can see the capital over there, but way over there is the capital, and it's gold. The dome is gold. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah. You can kind of see it right there. Go. I'll keep trying. The country roads take me home to the place that I be. West Virginia. I drove some. I did okay. I got us from Ohio to West Virginia. KJ got a little nap. Now it's his turn. So he gets to drive through the real mountain driving. Hello, thank you. Thank you. So it's paid. West Virginia still likes cash. Woo. So we went through a toll road in Illinois also, and they're not taking any cash. So they're like, you, you're just supposed to drive through, I guess. And I don't know if they have license plate recognition, but they don't explain anything and they say go to this website to pay your toll so i try to go to the website and you can't do it on your phone so within 14 days you have to pay this so we're, i'm gonna have to wait till we get to kj's mom hope the internet's good enough and try and do it on my laptop what a pain just take my money
Well, we didn't do a whole lot of recording because a uh, <laughs> quick trip. We made it uh, from Jordan, Montana down to STEM in 35 hours is what it took us. So got here, did the service. Uh, that was yesterday for my granddad. And uh, now we're gonna spend just a couple of days helping do some final things and get some stuff squared away here on the farm and then we'll head back. I've got some meetings I gotta be back for on Wednesday.